On this edition of Weatherwise, we are joined by meteorologist Gary Woodoff from the National Weather Service in Memphis. It is great to see you, Gary. After a storm, how do you plan on doing one of those surveys? Well, if we, if we know that there is a tornado or if we suspect that a tornado might have occurred in an area, that's going to be a good candidate for us to go out and do a, a damage survey. And when we do the surveys, there are uh, several goals that we're trying to accomplish. One is to determine what was it that caused the damage. Was it a tornado or was it uh, a strong straight line wind event? Now, what's the telltale sign between a tornado and straight line wind that always comes up? Yes, um, and, and it is complicated and sometimes it's tough to tell, but generally if we see a fairly long and narrow damage path that would suggest tornado, a shorter and wider path might suggest more of a, of a straight wind event. We also look for either evidence of what we call convergence, uh, debris kind of blown in towards the center of the track that would suggest a tornado. If we see the debris kind of fanning out away, that might suggest a, a straight wind event. We also will look for evidence of debris blown either across the direction of the storm's motion or back up against the storm's uh, direction of motion. That would suggest winds coming from multiple directions and might suggest a tornado. With a straight line wind event, again, things are pretty much, not completely, but pretty much laid out in the same direction. So you need to have significant damage to rate these tornadoes. It, they can go, you could have an F5 tornado go across an open field and you would just never know about it. That's, that's exactly right. The, uh, the EF scale is a damage scale, and so we need to have damage to be able to rate it accurately. In 2006-2007 time frame, a committee came together of meteorologists and engineers and developed the Enhanced Fujita, or EF scale, which incorporates a lot more damage candidates that we can look at. Uh, barns, outbuildings, uh, commercial structures, trees, light poles, and the like. The process has improved, the warnings have improved, the uh, look at the damage has improved, and everything's come a long way over the last 10 years. Gary, thank you so much for joining us on this edition of WeatherWise. We'll have another one next week. WeatherWise is brought to you by Four County Electric Power Association.